What's good, y'all? How you guys doing, man? We are in Miami, baby. We're in my room, so today we're just gonna be vlogging for the rest of the day. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing, baby? I had to caught me a little something, something, you guys. So, we about to leave now. We're about to go to another store. It's not here in the mall. We're going to about to check out some shoes, so I'm going to take you guys along. What's good, everybody? How y'all doing, man? We are at a Haitian restaurant right now. So, I'm going to take you guys inside so you guys can see some Haitian food. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm Haitian. Yes, I am. So, we're going to go inside. We're going to check out the food, all right? Come on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Boy. Hey, this is my this is my culture, y'all. So I love it, baby. We just gonna we just gonna enjoy today, y'all. They got good food over here. That's my plate right here, y'all. My plate only. Hey, I'm gonna show him my plate. My plate is gonna be a little bit better. Though. I hope so. <laughs> All right, mommy, enjoy the rest of the day. All right, like, guys, we about to get lit. We about to, we about to manger. Votre nous about to play. Yeah, we about to be lit. Hey, 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 We are in back in the room right now. We couldn't really eat at the restaurant, but you know, it's all good though. We're just gonna enjoy this food. I don't know if you guys saw the food, so I'm about to enjoy this now. So I, I anyway, I know you guys are asking who's that, who's that? Uh, this is my camera guy, his name is Jeff. Jack Hill. Yeah, so hey, you guys hit information will be down in the description down below, so you guys can check that out. But, we about to enjoy this food and just really, just have a nice conversation, you know? So Jeff, man, how you feeling, bro? Feeling good, bro, this food tastes good. Yes, yes. Take him, for real. Hey, as people know, when it's a sauce for my that sauce for my dearie, you know? What does sauce for I mean? You guys, I know sauce for, it means, how would I say sauce for in English, bro? Beans, black beans. Yeah, black beans. How you feel, bro? How you feel about this COVID nineteen, man? You COVID know, we, you know, you know, we on lockdown. We can't really do much, man. I don't know, bro. The COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. COVID nineteen is a label. It's a symbol. It's a message. You feel me? See, but the thing is. Not a lot of people believe in all that conspiracy or it's a message or you know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people believe into into all that, man. So for the people that doesn't believe, you know, they're gonna be like, nah, it's just the world just that's how the world is just the world. That's how it, just, it has to be. It's a lot of stuff y'all don't wanna talk about, but like face the fact. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> I, funny, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree, man. All right, for example, darn. Yeah. The Black Lives Matter thing. Years ago, man, they've been doing this for years. Yeah. Putting niggas out the car. Sorry for my language, because that's what I'm going to say, because that's, that's the word they use for us, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Putting us out the car. I'm going to say us because I'm black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> putting us out the car, not getting us the freedom that we deserve. You know what I'm saying? Now they just now seen this shit. We just now reacting to this. Yeah, shit. it's because we have technology, bro. Because without, if, you know, what I'm saying back then they didn't have te technology, mm -hmm. so they they didn't really know this was really going. They knew it was going on, but they didn't know it was that it was this bad. 
You feel me? Mm -hmm. So now we got so uh, uh, social media, we got camera, we could record all that. And now all, all these cops that's doing all that, they're gonna get caught. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's that's just my opinion, bro. What? What I feel? Like these niggas need to wake up. Yeah, like I always say, if you ain't heard, fly like a bird. Who do you think will do a better job bringing back our economy after COVID? Trump or Biden? I think Joe Biden, he'll make the way. I think he'll, I think he's the best one for the economy, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Because he was there when um, Obama was there, so. Yeah, that's why. You guys heard from him. Javier. Javier, so Javier, man, I have a question for you. So my question is, do you think Kanye would have been a good president? Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, man. So, y'all, yeah, we at the gas station. I'm about to ask somebody a question. What's up, man? How you doing, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? I'm just going to ask you a couple questions, man. What's up? Uh, let them know what, uh, your name and everything, man. Oh, what's up? YGNJ, man. Chilling in Miami. Chilling, chilling. All right, got you, got you. All right, I'm going to put his description down below, you guys. Right. But uh, my first question for you, man, is... Do you think Kanye would have been a good president, bro? Kanye? Yeah. I mean, as in the business or political aspect? Or is this It could be president? anything, man. It's your, it's your opinion, bro. Business-wise, we would have boomed. But political-wise, it would have been like more of a black. He was trying to do black things do black, for the blacks and stuff like that. Bro. Yeah. But, but you know, as a rap, you know, he's a rapper. But you think that they would have accepted him? Accepted him in the uh, president in the White House, man. Uh, you would already have to be accepted to even run for president. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if for him to run president, then he got a chance. You feel me? Hey, man. Hey, little hey little I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, y'all heard his question. Hey, that's how he feels, you know. Yeah. But I thank you guys, man. So I'll see you guys. All right. Thank you guys.